Gangnam Style on the side. There's nothing further from Gonzaga. He played his part in a Gangnam Style. Yeah, he's played six minutes. <laughs> get up, come on. So I show him, you gotta show him now. He, he always cheered. Oh, we showed him cheering when it was good. We didn't show him cheering and taking it back, you know. If somebody shot an air ball. He, he had one. He was the only guy on the bench up, ready to, ready to get this. And then, and then uh, he took it back with the air ball. And quiet you saw Dennis. But the, you, need those, you need those kind of guys. Energy, even energy guys on your bench. Uh, first of all, we're here joking, but I respect his position because one, he's one of the best in the world, and anybody out there laughing, watching TV, he will bust your butt very easy. <laughs> but also, he works hard, and being on that end of the bench, I mean, first of all, in a team setting, you have to have people that are not egocentric, and obviously, he has to be that way. I played with guys like that. I played with a guy, Mateen Cleave. He won a championship in college, one of the best. But he came there in Sacramento, didn't have a real role, except to be a cheerleader and a leader from the bench. Guys like that make a big impact on And what they don't see is what goes on on those practice days when Dwight Howard is on the floor and Robert Sacre is the guy. Eating him up. Yeah, it exactly. happens. Exactly. Trust exactly. It right. does happen. Exactly right. One point game will be